Hello and welcome to another rendition of me trying to cook things from an Overwatch cookbook. Today we'll be making Junkrat's Chocolate Crackle Bombs, a nice tasty dessert treat that, while not necessarily Halloween themed, can still be made to celebrate the holiday. If you like chocolate fun desserts and explosions of questionable safety, then these bombs are for you. Nothing sets off a good celebration like some fireworks. Explosions of crackly flavor, the sharp bite of licorice, what's not to love? Junkrat can scavenge any number of delicious ingredients to make variations of these tasty flavor bombs. The recipe below is his go-to combination. For this recipe, you'll need a half cup of peanut butter or other nut butter, a third of a cup of honey, a fourth cup of cocoa powder plus extra for dusting, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a pinch of salt, two cups of puffed rice, a half cup of coconut flakes, which are optional, two ounces of chocolate chips, and several pieces of round licorice, some thin and some thick. In a medium mixing bowl, combine the nut butter and honey. Stir in the cocoa powder, vanilla, and salt, beating until smooth. Finally, stir in the puffed rice and coconut flakes if using. Place in the fridge to chill for about 15 minutes. Once chilled, form into balls of about 2 tablespoons each and place back in the fridge. To assemble the bombs, slice the thin licorice into strips of about an inch long for the fuses and set aside. Slice the larger licorice into chunks of about a half inch long to make the fuse casing and poke a hole on one end with a knife. Insert the fuse into the hole and repeat with as many fuses as you have crackle balls. In a heat proof bowl, melt the chocolate chips in the microwave, a small saucepan on the stove top also works, in 30 second bursts, stirring occasionally until you have a smooth melted consistency. Remove the balls from the fridge and set nearby. Dip half the fuse casing into the melted chocolate, then press onto the top of a crackle ball. The chocolate should set in a few seconds. Repeat with all the remaining bombs, then plate to serve. Well, after having some of the crackle bombs, I can honestly say that they are pretty good. The peanut butter flavor is there, although it is a little subtle, it is still there. You will be able to taste the peanut butter, and the crackle bombs themselves are able to hold their form pretty well when you're eating them. The licorice is overpowering, which I was afraid of going into this recipe. Once you take a bite of the licorice, you will only be able to taste the licorice. So what I ended up doing is made about half of them without the licorice topper, and instead coated the whole things in the milk chocolate, which ended up much better. I'd say just forget the licorice on this one, it did not work out well. Also, my crackle bombs didn't turn out all that sweet, and that's probably on me for using a dark chocolate cocoa powder instead of a milk chocolate one. It was all that I had in the house, and I didn't think to run out and get a milk chocolate cocoa powder, so I'd say if you were to make this recipe, definitely go with milk chocolate cocoa powder. I'd also say cut down a little bit on the puffed rice cereal. It seemed like two cups was a little bit too much for some of the balls. I'd say maybe go down to one and a half cups or one cup, so that way you get more of the peanut butter flavor and more of the chocolate flavor. Also, I only used a generic uh, plain puffed rice. I'd say maybe instead go for something sugar-coated, something that would you find in like a breakfast cereal, like a Rice Krispies or a Sugar Smacks or something like that. Something that's a breakfasty, sugar-coated puff rice will probably work best for this recipe. But overall, this recipe is still not bad. Even with the things that I used, it still tasted pretty good. And that's how you make Junkrat's Chocolate Crackle Bombs, a crazy mix of ingredients that's as insane as the character it's based on. That's all for this rendition of trying to cook things from the Overwatch cookbook. I've got a bigger project on the way really soon, and so check back in for that, and check back in for more of these videos where we'll hopefully find more great recipes in this cookbook.